Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In case you are new, then hi, my name is Payal, and do consider subscribing to my channel. And if you hit that like button, then I'm just giving this heart to you. Thank you so much. Now coming towards this video. In this video, I'll be reviewing two products which were sent to me by the brand Imana House. I hope I'm pronouncing it right. I googled it, but I didn't get the pronunciation. How well? I'll put the text over here so that you people know what brand I'm talking about. So they sent me two products and they wanted me to share my experience with those two. However, the review will be very truthful. So without further ado, let's get started. So the product number one which was sent to me was Pink Calloin Clay. Now this is said to be a luxurious handmade soap meant for smooth and clear skin. Now what I like about this product is that it is cruelty free, vegan, no SLS, no paraben, no artificial fragrance. Each and every ingredient is mentioned over here, which is pink calloin clay, virgin olive oil, virgin coconut oil, calendula essential oil, sweet orange oil, and the price of this one is seven hundred fifty rupees for one hundred and thirty grams. Now it may sound a bit expensive, or I should rather say extremely expensive for a soap, but do remember that it is hundred percent natural. It is handmade soap. It is an experience to have. It is a luxurious soap. But for every day, I still doubt about it. But I like the packaging. It lathers well. The fragrance is very mild because they have not used any kind of artificial fragrance. That means the fragrance is very mild. It will not smell like other soaps. But yeah, it is still there. But the la it really lathers well. I'm again and again saying it lathers well, yet moisturizes your skin. So if you want to have an experience, or if your friend is getting married. And you want to give her something special, then this product is surely an experience to have. But if you're a nature freak, then please opt for this soap. You will love it. But for every day, I still doubt. It. So the second product sent to me by the brand is the Shea Lavender Whipped Body Butter. Now over here, the ingredients are mentioned: unrefined shea butter, unrefined Afro cocoa butter, sweet almond, lavender essential oil. No chemical again, which is yay yay for me. It is cruelty free, vegan. No SLS, paraben, and no artificial fragrance, which is again yay yay for me. Now talking about my experience with the product itself. Now what I found a bit unique at the same time I loved is that the moment you take the butter in your hand and you put it onto your skin, it starts melting automatically. So if once you start blending it, it blends very very. Easily and gives you a sheen and makes your skin look very healthy. The fragrance is very mild as they have used only essential oil in order to get the fragrance. Would I recommend this product? Definitely yes, because it really moisturizes your skin, serves the purpose, and all you need is a little bit of the product. And by the way, I forgot to tell you the price of this one. This one is four hundred ninety-nine rupees for thirty grams. Among two, I'll recommend the body butter more because I find it is worth paying five hundred rupees. Compared to the soap, so this is something which I would recommend you guys. Now that's it for the video. I hope you enjoyed my review, and if you did, then do thumbs up and let me know. And do follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. All the links will be in the description box. If you have any kind of suggestion as well as recommendation, let me in the comment section. At the last, I say take care and stay pretty.